quick little demo overview of using radial menu with ZBrush. When the menu comes out, it will track to your cursor as it pulls around the screen. You can have sub menus and bind the keys to whatever you want. This menu is not full. Subdivide the mesh. Center the to the view. Undo, redo. As you see it's changing up here, but there's not that many changes. Change your brush, clay builder, Z remesher, pinch, hard polish, damn standard. Some other menus, turn off edit mode, move mode, scale, rotate. As you notice, every time I click, it will bring you back to the main menu, and you can have sub menus inside sub menus. And if you want to go back, you got to bind a key called escape. So, how do these menus look if we edit this settings? So, I've got it under radial menu, disable. If you tell it to show submenu at mouse, it doesn't follow your mouse properly, the submenus, which is a bit weird. Activation, I have it as control right now, so I'm just still testing these out. I've normally been clicking up on the actual radial menu in the corner. See how the profile, so this is a radial menu. Uh, you can edit it if you've got a submenu. So you just click on the button and it will bring up the menu to edit. And you have a few options. If it's a sub-menu, you have to right-click on it. And then it says this is a sub-menu. Because if you'd normally just click on it, it'll go inside that menu. So I've got these other buttons that are disabled that I haven't set up yet. To go back, click the back button in the corner. So my brushes, how do they work? Right, there they are, so the damn standard is actually a picture that I've loaded in, and then it's a macro, and the macro for the damn standard is press the letter B, the shortcut, and so there are all the different shortcuts to the different brushes. 100 milliseconds seems to be working pretty good at this stage. You can totally change the way your radial menu looks. I've gone for the square look, but you can run through all these different shapes. And it's really customizable. I can have circles on this one, and triangles on this one, to different shapes for every area so if we look at our radio menu in live mode well you can see it's all different so it's quite powerful and it's just an early setup to see how things go